Hey guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY is super short, sweet, to the point, simple, really easy. However, I did want to make a video on it because it's kind of one of those decorations that can be used for like a million different things. So basically I figured out, or figured, I don't know, I made a uh, ribbon banner. So I see these all over Pinterest hanging on walls or um, sometimes they'll put them on like the front of a high chair at like a baby's first birthday. Um, if you buy these in craft stores, they're kind of expensive. Even like with a coupon, you're still going to spend at least $10 and it does not cost that much to make this and it's not that time consuming so basically I found this um, pack of like fat quarter fabric which is basically where you get a square of fabric and it was a pack of them that all kind of coordinated together and I cut them into strips and then made this um, super cute ribbon banner um, I'm actually using this to help decorate classroom it's not my classroom, I gave it to another teacher, but <laughs> to decorate a classroom. So I just wanted to make a really quick tutorial showing you guys how to do this, hopefully to give you some inspiration for anything you might have coming up. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so it's gonna start off with the fat quarter fabric that I told you about that I bought in a little pack. And then you're gonna cut those into two inch strips. So the whole thing, everything cut into two inch strips. And then you're gonna need some sort of ribbon or rope or really anything. I would go for a little bit of a medium to thick size um, personally, but I do think that pretty much anything will work. Um, so you're gonna start off by cutting the ribbon to the size that you need, and then I kind of folded mine in half and marked the center with the first little strip of fabric. So how you attach each strip of fabric that you have is you're going to take it and fold it in half and then you're going to make a loop at the top and then pull the rest of the fabric through if that makes sense at all. If you've ever made any kind of those little like DIY tool tutus, this is the exact same method that you do with the tool. Um, but I'm going to show you again just to make sure that you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, so fold it in half and then hold it over the ribbon and then you're going to like pull the ends of the fabric through your loop and then tighten it. Just make sure that you're always pulling the same direction because otherwise it looks a little funky when like some are pulled on front and some are pulled in the back. But that's basically it. And then you just take all the rest of your strips of fabric and um, I kept track of the patterns because I knew it would drive me crazy if I had like random patterns everywhere. But yeah, this is what it looked like when it was all done. Again, I told you guys this is like the simplest tutorial ever, but it's also really useful. So hope you guys liked it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.